Good day, Crafty Chums. It's Nikki here, aka Carson Decat, aka Carson Decat's la <laughs> life. <laughs> and um, hmm. I am coming to you today with an index card that I'm going to make for Debbie Rignola's challenge on her um, YouTube channel. And uh, she just asked for um, one to be sent and then with the details on the back. So that's what I'm going to do today. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would help, of course, obviously, if I just try and get my chat to come up on screen. I should have done that first. Don't know why I didn't, but I just didn't. So let's let's see if I can get my chat up and see what's working. See if anyone's coming to join me. So you'll have to give me a few moments while I just uh, see if I can find chat. Amongst other things, obviously. <laughs> oh man, it's slow one today. It is slow. Let's move that across there. Let's pull this picture up here and just move that across there and let it go and it goes big and i don't want it to be big <laughs> we store down a little bit every time i move it it tries to click up so there you go so i can see both now which is good and uh so i'm just going to get on with um this one for debbie's uh challenge and I'm going to start off by using some distress inks on here. So I'll be just uh, popping colour down and um, and then I'll be using the heat gun, of course, to dry it off after I've done it. So, yep, still live, which is good. It's always a good thing. If you intend to go live and you keep the live stream up, that's always good. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Comedian. I love talking to myself. <laughs> so here we go. I'm just going to dry this one off. And then I'll just be uh, layering up colours. Which is nice. It's now Sunday afternoon here. That's it, 2.40 a.m. Yeah, 2.43 Sunday afternoon. I'm expecting most of the people that normally come and see will be in bed, which is good. And so I'll be able to get on with it and not get distracted. Get on the mop up there. So I've got enough colour down that I want. So what I'm going to do now is change to the red Distress Oxide there. I'm just using the back of my uh, plastic chopping board because <laughs> I've got my um, I've got my other plastic one under this uh, brown under this brown paper which I'm using as a drop you know catchall drop paper as they call it catchall as I call it. <laughs> Try this one off too. Last it up. Otherwise, I'll be here all day, won't I? Don't want to be here all day. Maybe lucky and just be able to get a quick in and out. 
see how quick I can do this one. Two things at once, look. to get my stitches taken out tomorrow and uh, I will do that when if I can find somewhere to take them out if not I'll be taking them out myself I don't want to make this 60 kilometer round trip to go and get some stitches taken out of my hand when I know that actually I can do it myself there's nowhere close I don't think that can do it for me here the this one here might be a little bit difficult to get out because he's like tied really really tight so um yeah that might give me a few problems but we'll give it a go if i can't find anywhere local that won't charge me to take them out the doctor's visit is um 43 dollars i think something like that and just to take a couple of stitches out no i don't think so <laughs> oh man it's crazy it's crazy prices Easy, I tell you. Anyway, it's heating up nicely. It, uh, it was um, oozing blood for quite a little while after I had it stitched, so it's like you know, just from the one end, just kept going. But it's okay now. Is good. I must finish this one. So what I'm going to do now is make a couple of little borders out of this paper here. I've just got to decide. Um, it's going to be quite bright, I think. <laughs> quite bright. Never mind. It's always nice to make things stand out if you have things quite bright. It's my uh, Liquitex paint pen. It's just book paper that I've used um, to uh, mop up paint and then uh, I've did a little bit of stenciling on there and all sorts of things. It's got a little bit of everything on there, I think. Stamping as well. And then, of course, you get the book paper coming through, which is always nice. So I'm just going to quickly cut through these. We have to make a couple more. Oh no, that'll be enough. That'll be enough. I might need to change to my smaller scissors, but we'll give it a go with my bigger ones. Just hoping I can get through it okay. Of course, I did have to cut, cut my right hand. <laughs> And also, you know, it's that bit where things lean on and that. It's quite hard grasping things too hard, too tight. As I say, stitch is supposed to come out tomorrow if I can find anywhere to do it. In between work and making another video. Actually doing a live stream. I don't know why I keep saying video, doing a live stream. I do have some videos that I've got to edit and put up, as always. Always videos to edit and get up on there. <laughs> hey. Just makes it a little bit more difficult when you're working, but not impossible. 
especially my type of work where I work with people who have accidents. So um, sometimes I have no work and then other times I have lots of work. So just making the borders there. Can we stick them on the paper here? Debbie didn't want it um, uh, very dimensional, so that's good because it won't be. <laughs> so I'm just going to um, go around the edges of this now. And a bit of a um, black, I think. <laughs> Could do it with the um with the pen but i'm going to do it instead with the uh ink which is good because it's all good <laughs> i think i'll do these at the side and this top and bottom quite like colours, the colours on the index card are nice and bright and cheerful. I like that. I like that in the colour. <laughs> so we are. Let's do this. Let's pop out some glue in an old tub that I have here. Good. It won't take too long to dry. So this one go top and bottom. And I'm just going to pop these at the sides. And then trim them off. And I'll just give them a little dry off as well. Then do some more doodling, I think. Going to use these uh, Fosca paint pens.
didn't should have let that dry a little bit more before I did that. Never mind. <laughs> Just dry that off as well. A little sheet of owls here, which is quite cute. So I thought I might put a couple of little owls on there too. It's a little trio there. They look quite nice, don't they? Cut them out. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> thought I got away with it then. I thought no one was going to be watching. <laughs> I thought there was going to be no one here and I'd get away with it and I'd do it really quickly and have it up and loaded and away. <laughs> you caught me. Can't see very well. It's not, even though it's quite light on screen, there's not enough light in the um, in the room for me. The uh, camera's really good at picking up the light and that. But if I turn on a light, um, it will cast all kinds of horrible shadows over everything. So it gets a little bit difficult to see. <laughs> so I'm trying very hard to cut out this uh, little owl and make him good. <laughs> Certain as you get older in certain lights, it's so difficult to see. That's okay, Debbie. I, I was you know hoping to um just get this over and done with quickly. You don't need to stay, <laughs> it will just go up and then people can watch it later. Just saves me having to edit, you know. So uh, that's why I do the live stream really is so that I'm lazy and I don't have to edit. <laughs> but thanks for popping in anyway. <laughs> She's going to take me a little while to cut out these little guys. Eee. Wish I hadn't done them now. Might change my mind. I actually just drool them, but I don't know. Got to use these little fellas up. I've had them laying around for ages. Quite cute. As I say, it's a little bit difficult to see, but never mind. I 
can it now from one screen hi pauline see i didn't get away with it did i <laughs> darn i was hoping to do a really quick one and then i just go and get on with it <laughs> i can't see really i can't see it's giving me a little bit of a hard job because i can't see very well Yeah. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Cold's almost gone. Stitches come out tomorrow. So yeah, life's good. How are you? Can you hear any clanking and banging? That's my son washing up his dishes. <laughs> I'm saying I just I can't see very well here. Darn things. Yeah. They're good, aren't they? I don't have any molds at all here. All my molds are on the boat. I want some of those, um, you see it, they call them, IOC, what are they called? IOC moulds or something, the, the ones that Prima make, love those. Yeah, sometimes when you do those moulds and that, you have to put a little bit of glue to keep it together. Instead of using just water, sometimes it doesn't work out. I never haven't worked out whether it's the um, whether it's the conditions that you do it under. You know, if it's like extra wet or something like that. But sometimes they don't work. Sometimes they just fall apart. So if you mix a little bit of uh, PVA glue with the water, they hold together better. And of course, because they're silicone molds, they'll come out anyway. They won't stick. Just a hint, just a little tip. Thanks, Debbie. You'll see what it looks like tomorrow night. Thanks for joining me. So yeah, just going to add these uh, bit levels on there. Yeah, 
yeah I've, met, I've made a few of them and you know they start in you know and uh, i've had more failures than successes with it so until i figured out the uh if you add glue to the water when you when you put the um toilet paper roll in it's uh, it helps <laughs> I'm not, not very crafty, you know, with arts and crafts and that because I don't think, you know, when you've been doing it as long as Eileen has, then uh, you pick up all these tips. It's, so sometimes she, she doesn't think of uh, when things go wrong. <laughs> yeah, Mod Podge, just, um, just to water it down a little bit more than the Mod Podge is. Mod Podge is good on most things. <laughs> I'm just looking for my little Posca pen. Just want to go around these a little bit more because they're not sticking out very much. That's good, yeah. If it's working out for you, then good. As I say, I. I'm not, I'm not unsure sometimes whether it, it's on the conditions that you're in as well, you know, whether you have lots of high humidity or whatever. You can make all the difference. <laughs> I'm just making a an index card for Debbie Vignolo's challenge. I make index cards every Sunday anyway. It's because it's Sunday afternoon here, obviously, in New Zealand. And uh, I make index cards every Sunday. And uh, Debbie Vignolo's on a, got a little challenge thing that she was asking for index cards for her. I'll link the in the description box below where her challenge is. A link to the video anyway. And um, yeah, so I thought, oh well, that's right up my street because I make them anyway. <laughs> so you know, it's like oh, this challenge was made for me. I'm looking for my white. Just remembered it was on the desk. Just remembered where it was there. So, yeah, that's what I just what I'm doing is um, just doing a like a video response for Debbie. Yeah, so my uh, index card series that I call it is the N I C S, which stands for Nikki's Index Card Sunday. So just dry off the uh, paint a bit before I glue that one on. Yeah, they're cute. They came on a. Um, they came in an on. Uh, this is actually the packing envelope on a um, rack I got. Happy mail. So yeah, I thought it's about time I started using them up. So they've been hanging around here for a while, so they need to go.
I don't like to have things hanging around. Okay, I'm sticking for the. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a. Something else just to go on the back. I'll do, I think I'll do a script. I think I'll just pop in a little script thing there. Just in the um, the background. Yeah, a few index cards. Yeah, I have enough for a few index cards. This actually is a this is annoying um stencil. It takes a lot of work just to get anything on there. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know why I persevere with it. But I still do. <laughs> Never mind. actually looking for my script stamp I don't know where it is I thought I had it back but never mind maybe I'll do a few rays see how well that goes No, it's um, oxides. It's distress oxides. I'm actually going to um, darken it all down now. Should have thought of doing this first, but never mind. Ideas come to you after rather than before. <laughs> That's what I find anyway. All right, okay. Let's just dry that off a little bit and I'll give it a uh, bit of a gluing. Yeah, they are, aren't they? These are the three colours I used. I used the um, wilting violet, the broken china and the uh, fired brick. I started off with the broken china, then went to the fired brick, and then I did the wilted violet on top. These little owls just keep running away from me. If uh, Debbie hadn't asked that um, they remain sort of flat, then um, I would pop these up on a um, 
I would have popped these up on a foam, foam tape just to make them stick out the card a little bit. Hi Patricia, how are you? They do, don't they? They're like really sweet. <laughs> This is um, what I'm using is watered down PVA glue, and uh, sometimes it takes a little while till the uh, till they actually stick down. So you just got to persevere a little bit with it, and then uh, and then they stick down. <laughs> These stitches, uh, they got, they they're supposed to come out tomorrow, and um, if I can find somewhere local to do it then i'll do it and um, then i'll go if i don't have to pay um but if not it's a 60 kilometer round trip to get it done at the place where i had the stitches but um but i'm not going to do that I'll, i will end up taking them out myself if um if i can't get anywhere local to do it i don't want to pay 40 dollars at the doctors i don't want to take a 60 kilometer round trip to get them taken out because i mean it's only three so um yeah we'll see trouble is, is it's my right hand <laughs> be okay if it was my left hand i wouldn't bother going you know it's like even looking i just do it myself so i'm just trying to get these to stick down a little bit more So I say it's a little bit difficult with this uh, watered down PVA. I just turned it over and realised I got it upside down, but it didn't matter. I'll just probably glue another card to it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I always check first to see whether you got them upside down or not. <laughs> yeah, never mind. It doesn't matter. Okay, so um, I'm just going to... I really want this to be a little bit flatter. Because I want to put some glossy accents on their eyes. I might do it after it's all, it might work. It's just still a little bit wrinkled. But what I do with my index card afterwards is, um, is quite often I'll just lay them under something till they flatten out a little bit more. But um, oh hey, let's go around and let's go around and.
Okay. Let's see if this glossy accents will work, whether it's still glue glooped up. Yeah, I know, it's okay, really. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter unless you've got a little bit of OCD thing going on like me. <laughs> yeah, let's see if this will come out. Just seeing if it'll come out. It's probably just stuck in there. Uh, it's annoying this. Should have kept the, the old top. <laughs> Got this um, really fine top for it. So I could do detail work, but of course it uh, clogs up so easily. It's a real pain in the booty. Yes. Pain in the bootay. <sighs> mm -hmm. Well, that won't work, will it? That won't work until I stick it. <laughs> oh, well. Just have to wait then. See, look, I can't see to even put the lid on. I hate these things, they're so fiddly. <laughs> hey man, I suppose it doesn't matter because it's already blocked up. Who else, else hates these things? Oh boy. See that I can't see to get the um, little pin in. Oh well, I'll have to do that when I come off. <laughs> so anyway, that's my index card that's going out to Debbie. <laughs> Just as soon as I finish it up with some nice little glossy accents on their eyes, just to make them pop a little bit. Normally, as I say, I would put it into my little index card holder that I have with all my other index cards in. So, you know, as I say, this is my normal Sunday stream that I do. Man, that's annoying that I couldn't get that lid on. <laughs> oh. Do you want to see what else I've been up to? Nah. I've, uh, I've just been practicing my um, ladies and things and I think I showed you up to, I don't know, last time I showed you probably up to, up to this one I think. Yeah, I will, I'll do it, do it after I've finished the stream though because it will just take some fiddling because my eyesight's not that good either. <laughs> take some fiddling and poking but, um, but yeah, so I think, um, I've been determined for a while now to show all things I do, be they good or bad. So, um, so I'm having a few like good faces that I'm drawing, and I'm having a few bad faces that I'm drawing. And as I say, I've, I've been determined to show good and bad, <laughs> and not just the good stuff, because um, because the um, it just takes practice, doesn't it? You know, if, if you want to become good at something, you just got to practice and practice and practice. So um, I've been trying to get, um, you know, facial proportions down and everything else. I'm not too worried, actually, too worried about shading and that. What I'm just trying to do is to get facial proportions more correct. Um, thanks, Pauline. But um, I'm going to show you some bad ones as well, so don't worry. <laughs> They're not all good. 
but as I say, you know, I'm determined to show good and bad just to show to people that, you know, I mean, there are some women and men that I see on YouTube that produce just some fantastic things. And so, you know, I'm just practicing, practicing, practicing and practicing and practicing. And uh, and so that's what I've been doing. And s some are good, some are OK, some are just like laughable. So um, I'm just going to be showing that you as well use that as well so um uh, this is all in preparation for 29 faces coming up in september i think it is i don't think it's october i think it's september if i remember right so that's in a couple of weeks so um i'm just getting myself you know in that right frame of mind to do it <laughs> uh, and i'll be doing it on atcs in watercolor that's what i intend doing um, sometimes I like to do them big in um, acrylics and sometimes I like to do them small in the watercolours. Show us, I say, good and bad. <laughs> good and bad. Just remember that, you know, some are, some are good, some are not good. And, uh, and you'll see um, just, uh, I was going to do like a little historical series of women in history or something like that. So that's what I've been practising. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll, that's what I'll be doing for the 29 faces, but I might. You know, it's quite an interesting little um, little thing to do, I suppose. Good and bad, you see, good and bad. So I was practicing um, doing the turn face and good and bad. <laughs> but it's proportions that I'm after more on than anything else on this. And uh, so, um, and I popped in a hand there. Not, not, you know still practicing hands still practicing faces and uh, so these are these are just like little sketchy things that i'm doing they actually don't take too long i don't labor over them so yeah that is, that one's my favorite one so far she's quite good quite like her and so good and bad good and bad and uh and there's a male face i don't often do male faces but i, I throw one in just for the practice <laughs> I don't know why it's tilted on the side. This is so much more difficult when they're tilted on the side. But anyway, and this one um, I did after watching. <laughs> I, was, I spent the night watching um, uh, Nancy Drew in black and white, 1938 and 1939. I binged this Nancy Drew, so that that came from from watching Nancy Drew. But um, but that was all the ones there, and uh, I've been showing them as as I do them. I haven't done any for a couple of nights. Tenth, I don't know, it's the thirteenth now. Yeah, so um, I'm drawn another one for three days, so I have to get back onto it. I've been very naughty, <laughs> but as I say, I don't labour over the sketch. I just um, uh, between ten and twenty minutes. If it's if I do it and it starts, and I think now nah, I won't, I won't bother with it. You know, if I think it's going good, then I'll persevere and carry on with it. So ten minutes, twenty minutes, and that's it. You know. If I feel it's going good, then I'll give it colour. If I feel it's going bad, I won't colour it. <laughs> see, look. As I go back, you'll see that. Um, see how it, you know, evolves. I really wanted to come in and get the proportions right, and yeah. So it, they'll get better as they go on. I'll still throw in the odd evil one every now and again. You know, it's like <laughs> consistency is what I'm after, and I'm not consistent consistent in my drawings so you know i get i very hit and miss i want it to be more hit than miss <laughs> but practice and that's what that's what that's what it's all about is just practice 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 so there you go that's what i've been up to and uh so yeah so this is my card for debbie that's going to debbie and um i will put glossy accents on there as just as soon as i've unbunged it and that's it for me for today and I'll see you tomorrow because I'm going to come back tomorrow with a uh, my card making and um, and it will be a mail card because uh, it's always good to see a mail birthday card or whatever being made so that's what I'm doing tomorrow so I'll see you then thanks for joining me thanks for chatting with me as well see you again tomorrow bye See, it doesn't like my finger today. Sometimes it likes my finger, sometimes it doesn't. So there you go. Have to go to the mouse. Turn it off.